Oh my god, that scared me. God, everything's so... Where am I? <gasps> oh my god. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Foe Show Shot. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. It'll really help the channel out. Today, we're going to be checking out uh, Poppy's Playtime Chapter 2 again. We're going to be doing the second part. So let's just jump right into it. Oh, are you... Hold on. Okay, okay, cool. I thought it, it reset. That was gonna be very annoying. You did fantastic. Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. That sounds like different uh a different track I'm like i don't remember her saying all that stuff maybe she did though i don't know uh okay so wag a wag is it whack yeah whack a wuggy okay Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. That makes sense. Now, is it going to be adorable? That's the real question. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's so hard to see them. Are you up there? He's up there. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh God. Stop it. Stop it. What? No, I got him. Oh, there was an... Dude, that was very stressful. What the hell is that saying? Get up. The toys in this 
Once Fame used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. God. Oh, you did it. Oh, thank God. Her hand off. Uh, must be colored into the exact order: red, yellow, red, blue. Nope. I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good on that. Oh, that closed way closer than it opened, I feel like. Okay, I did make it up. I wonder if there's stuff I missed by not climbing all the stairs, but maybe not. Press the button to feed me candy. Nom, nom, nom. Feed me more. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Nom, 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 nom. More, more candy. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, no more candy. My tummy's full. Nom nom nom. I said no more. Nom nom nom. Stop! Oh my god. Nom nom nom. Press the button to feed me oh, candy. I guess I, I think I killed 
Killed the cat. I tell you what, the voice acting in this game is probably the best thing about it. It's very, it's fantastic. What are you doing, Huggy? What are you gonna do? Oh, you're purple. Don't. Yeah, you can't even do it. You gotta. I don't like that at all. But then I kind of do. I like the animation of it. What do I, what do I do? I don't know, because I can't get another charge. So I can't go up there. What do I do with you? I can take it back. I didn't know I could take it back. That's pretty cool. Okay. So cool. That's. Is that you accept guy? Mind if I film this? Oh, not at all, sir. That's what I'd like to hear. So, Marcus, what happened? You see, I was heading home for the day when my APARS realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So, I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mob handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what you do, Marcus? 
Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody orca be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing. And the mob handled jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So, I, I took a peek beneath the gate. And some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I happen to bloody know what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody... Monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will you? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting to see him in this. So we... I think the sound's broken on it. Yeah, I think I broke the sound because it was, um... Okay, so I need this. To open this. Then I take this one and I put it here. And then I take this one and I put it there. And we're, oh, it's so that it, it goes through on its own. So the sound wasn't broken. It was just so it could automatically go. Thank you, Barry. That door seems very tiny. Grab pack storage. All right, I just have one more left. That was this one was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Jeez, have you played these before? You're so good. Thank Seems you. Like you're ready for the final game, statues. Follow mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time. Oh, it's right here, statues. I don't know how I feel about the statues. It sounds like it's going to be very, very creepy.
Okay. What am I doing? <gasps> am I an idiot? Okay. Wait, no, no, no. I need it. I need to do it with the green hand. Got it. Wait. Did Oh my god. What the fuck's that sound? Also, I don't think I got it because I needed to wrap around these and I didn't do that. Do you want to play with Pedro? Caterpillar or bug? I'm crawling on all four hundred. Mm, I'm hungry for some delicious bones. Do you have some bones for pizza? Brown, brown. I'm kind of upset that I didn't um, read all the signs everywhere. No, I fucked up. Oh, I think I did do it and I just didn't realize. Uh, okay, I did do it. And this is, that's also the thing Jack Septiguy was talking about with like a million legs. Welcome to statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. Oh my god, I didn't even realize he's right there. Whatever.
Do I go up this thing? Man, oh man, this isn't about you. Get up, get up, stand up. So I think I can just, I don't even need to walk up that thing. I don't even know where I am. <gasps> oh God, he's so close. Where do I go? Yeah, I knew it. I, for some reason, I was like, well, if I'm in the dark, so it'll be fine. It wasn't. You can take it. It's very janky to do uh, those things. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I was doing that already. It's definitely best to just grab one and then let go so it flings you forward. Wow, that pulls you right in the slide. Almost the end. This is a near. Per I feel like it's a perfect run almost. What do I do in this? Okay, the jumping is so bad in this. I think it's just worth running through it. Don't even try to like jump on these things. Ooh, he's moving faster. <gasps> Jump! Oh my god. Where am I going?
Game station test subject assessment form. I wish I wish I could read this. There's literally a hole in the floor I just never saw. You can die later. Get up. Stand up. Oh. Let's try that again now. There we go. Getting crazier and crazier. How dare you disobey me? I will find you. I will find you. And when I do, <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Wow. What if there's more? I think that's it. I can't believe I didn't notice. Well, I did see that when I was first trying to do that. Mommy long legs and family. It's all weird and slow when you get injured. Water treatment. Keep our company secure. Secrets are a promise. Is it another paper I can't read? Uh, experiment 1222, Mommy Long Legs. Subject, Marie Payne. Mommy Long Legs has the unique ability to stretch any of her limbs for several hundred feet. This includes her fingers, arms, her neck, waist, legs. She is very hostile towards the staff, but is very motherly and acts warmly towards the other experiments. She is protective of them. The hostility is quickly becoming problematic. Perhaps there is a solution to put her in her place. Mommy long legs would be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy child can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily would improve her behavior, and it is very unlikely that she will act out in front of the children. Have her transferred to high security maintenance immediately. Conditioning can begin. Okay.
Uh, okay, so we need to go to the game station, I'm assuming. I mean, I just do it. Is that... Oh, no, 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 I, I did not do it. A toy scanner. So weird. Uh, okay, so I need a toy to get to the other room. So uh, we'll do bottom 90. This is pretty simple. You could just move the bottom wherever you need it, and then the red one will just go wherever you need it because it doesn't move the other one. Meow, 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 but to be or not to be, that is the question. You and I were meant to be. Don't make me sting you. Get out of here. <laughs> Just kidding. Go have fun. The fuck? Meow, 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 but What did that do? I got another trophy. Barry? That it? Man, I miss a lot of trophies. Wait. Uh, wait. Do I want them? Well, whoa. Oh, I got one. <gasps> oh, because it, it went this way and then would fall off. But if it was on there and I flipped it, it would then go to here. Okay, makes sense.
I want my toy back. Dance. The button hurts me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's where stuff will go. I need a red tape. would like to find that red tape. Is that it? Oh no. It's just on the box. Love it. Oh my god. There are fates worse than death. Are there though? I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. There probably are. All right. And we're good. I mean, there's got to be a, a reason or something. What? Oh, hold on. I need to go fast. There is... I looked at that to make... To see if that was an issue. Or if that was a thing that would happen. And it didn't. I swear I looked at that before in that thing. <gasps> oh. I'm an idiot. Okay. At least now I know what I can what needs to be done, but I swear I looked at that before because I thought, oh, maybe once I let go it'll drop that really quick, I gotta grab it. No, that never happened, and then now all of a sudden it does work. Maybe I have to be that close to it.
Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, got it. What's that opening? Oh my god, that scared me. God, everything's so... Where am I? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Ten, nine, no. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, I hate this. I hate it so much. This game wasn't scary until now. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? I like how she's like, play hide and seek, and then we just didn't. Oh no. Emergency exit? Mommy knows best. Oh, I don't even do anything with it. Ah, red, blue, green, red, blue, green. You know, I played her game. She should. No, no, no. What do I do? Oh. I needed to go up.
Oh, I bet if I went up, she would run underneath me, then I drop down and I go past her. That's probably it. Ah, yellow is actually over there. Four. God, that's... Uh, she's... They really upped the factor at the end. The scare factor, by the way. Yeah, right. Oh my god, she actually got me. Huh, maybe I should have waited more. Oh, wait here till that music goes away. I think I needed to melt something up there. Ensure that machinery is clear debris. White machine surface lubricant. Check for replace worn damaged parts. Check machine fluid. Something just happened. Do they, do they not understand how that doesn't make sense? What would make sense is say like they heated this up, right? This thing was heated up and there's like metal or something in there and you put the mold down here so the metal would go down and in the mold and then you have the gear. Whatever the, whatever the fuck they just did did not make sense unless the mold was up there the metal went in and then it just pooped it out there for some reason doesn't make sense
Like, what am I supposed to do in that situation right there? It's got to be something to do with that hole. Or the thing above me. Or the thing above the, um... Wait, are you fucking kidding me? I have to redo that whole dumb thing? Ugh, this game. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. I don't actually have to redo that whole... Yeah, see, there's something up there I feel like I need to do. Does not make sense. They have handles on the inside. I don't think the fire goes all the way to here. I think it just stops here. She gone? What do I do? Oh, did you see them frames? Where's this hand? That's probably... Oh, whew. I got this. I can run. She shouldn't be able to stretch all of her limbs this far out. She only has four limbs.
Well, of course I wouldn't make that because they aren't good with these fucking grapple controls. It's just shitty controlling. It's not shitty controlling. It's just wonky. Is uh. Uh, if so much of your game is based on these grapple and grabby mechanics, make sure they're like ironed out perfectly. Where like if you're close enough to aim at it, like give the player the benefit of the doubt. Ugh. But the grappling like that, why didn't why didn't that work? Why? Why did it slow down halfway? You see that shit? It just stops halfway, like. And this one works fine, too. You see that? It just stops. So, like, I purposely. Right there. Clicked it and held it to see if maybe that might be the thing I'm supposed to do and she like jumps over or something. No, it just slows down in the air, mid air. Maybe I need to get closer to the edge, that's why. You would think farther away so it would pull you and kind of like rubber band you over there. Oh my God. I think that one was my bad. I think I should have let go of that one sooner. And I did need to get closer to the edge. It's purposely not working. Why does that barrel move every... Oh my god, the barrel. The barrel. The barrel's in a different spot every time. That barrel literally is different every single time. It's just so weird. I actually made it. Oh my god, I actually made it. That took so long. Hey, look, a blue hand. That was so cool. That actually was very good. I was just too stupid to realize that I needed to grab that handle.
Open, 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 open it. Okay, I missed again. Oh. What the hell is that? Let's just act like nothing happened. Oh, literally stairs. Ugh, lag. I knew it. I knew this was where I was going to enter that uh, the game place. Because I looked above near that train, and I was like, there's a whole area above. Yeah. Because I was looking at this room right over there. What'd she do with, um... What's up? What the... Oh, there she is. Four, two, three, one. Did you kill her? Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. She seems different. Uh, start by report. Okay, proctoring the game station. Start by reporting to the control station. Always keep a minimum distance 20 yards away from mommy long legs. The train will arrive with the children 8 a.m. All children will be gathered inside the game station at, all at once. The order of the game should be musical memory, wack a buggy, then statues. A series of bridges and doors from the control station should guide you to each game. Mommy long legs can assist in escorting the children to each game. Only one children should ever play a game at a time. Children who are not playing the game will wait in the game station. There's a playground equipment to keep them entertained. Record each child's performance as it is relevant to each game. Musical memory, composure memory, pattern recognition, wacka wuggy, hand-eye coordination, reaction time. Statues, agility, strength, speed. Once the children have left for the day, return to the, con return to the control station. Give all reports to Miss Stella Graber to sort through. Um, Dr. Matthew Heisen, uh, windows in game station. I don't know if you're, if you ever spent weeks on end in an, a windowless artificially lit room, but let me tell you something as far as it's far from pleasant. The kids are getting rowdy too. You can just go, you can just see it from their faces. I know there's not really a way to get natural light down here, but there's other ways, right? I'm thinking about fake windows all around. Do that and bam, there's some natural light down here. I saw it on TV last night, last week. This underground place had fake windows, big lights behind the glass. 
It wakes the whole place up. Is it? Does that say wakes? The whole place. Whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Everyone in the right headspace for the blah. Add windows. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. There wasn't anything important in that. Just add windows. And it was very hard to read that shit. Always stick with a bud. Bunny, or whatever his name is, cat, whatever. Red, yellow. Oh, okay. Ah, they have to be this color. So red, yellow, red, blue. Four, four, two, three, one. Where's Poppy at? What happened? And was why she's saying she's not gonna let. Like, I'm not gonna be able to escape. Ooh, we are going fast.
Yeah, I'm trying. Terrible break system if um if they don't work. Play care. Okay, I told you that fucking doll was gonna be evil. Told y'all. Uh yeah, what did I think? I think the mechanics were cooler. They just didn't fucking work all the time. And when you're in a chase scene, you need those mechanics to work every time or you're just gonna, it's gonna fuck up. And it's just, you're gonna have to keep replaying and it's just gonna like become not fun. I really enjoyed that, that chase scene. It was good. Not as good as like the first one, like the first chapters, but overall, I just think this wasn't as good as the first chapter, but it was longer. So I guess that was better. And the puzzles were cooler. It just... It's kind of like they tried to capture the same thing as the first one. And, like, didn't hit it as well. In my opinion. But overall, I still think this was worth it. This was worth $10. I have paid $10 for some not great games. But that were still decent and I recommend it. This, this one was still good. I just think, yeah, it just wasn't as... Like, the first one set such a high bar, this one wasn't able to hit it, that exact same stride. But that doesn't mean it's not good. It's still great. So, um, it's worth playing. If you want to play it for yourself, the link will be in the description below. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.